Um, it's been a couple of weeks uh, since I've been back from my filming trip and uh, in true OCD style uh, the first thing I did when I got back to base here was come down to the canal and reset my uh, DSLR camera trap and hopefully you will have seen the results of the first few days that that was out for. Um, I think we've got some nice images there uh, and a good variety of animals as well so very happy with that but I think I can get better images than those and the reason I say that is that um, I think I've been trying to capture a very wide uh, scene uh, just here and um, the reason for that is that there's been there's so many animals that come across and they all use the crossing in a, in a slightly different way so the jackal as it comes across gets to the end of the platform has a sniff around has a drink and then jumps across um, into the water or tries to make it to the other side in one jump um, whereas the wildcat and the fox and the badger uh, and the beech martin which I was also really happy to to see um, they all use the branch um, the badger sometimes uses the just crosses through the water as well um, so he's 50-50 um, uh, but all the other animals they use the branch and the way I've been framing the, sh the shot is to capture both the end of the platform and the branch and I've been setting the, um, the camera trigger to, to uh, send its signal uh, as soon as an animal um, gets to the end of the platform. And the result of that is that the shots are really wide and the animal is really small in the frame. Um, the other thing with setting the trigger there is that with the exception of the wildcat, which is unfazed by the flash completely and just crosses as normal, um, the, all the other animals, as soon as the flash fires, um, uh, get, a, get a fright and they bolt in the opposite direction. So that's the fox. As soon as it, the camera flashed, it just turned tail and ran the other way. Beach Martin the same, uh, the badger the same, and I have a feeling the jackal the same as well, though I haven't seen it actually do it. Um, so the second setup that I'm trying, that I tried, I should say, is I switched the camera, I turned the camera to the left to have just the branch full frame um, and I've set the trigger to fire as soon as the animal gets onto the branch uh, so as when it's about a third of the way along the branch and hopefully that'll give me a, a more concentrated shot with the animal larger in frame. Uh, the other thing I've adjusted is the, is the lighting so the flash, I've, the head-on flash I've moved uh, higher up and reduced the power so it acts more as a fill and the secondary flash I've moved uh, uh, slightly more round to the left um, to act as a backlight. I would have liked to put it directly behind, uh, but because I'm shooting at, across water I have nothing to place the flash behind to hide it, um, and otherwise I'd have this massive hotspot in the frame. Uh, unless I should be lucky enough that the animal would uh, block it with its body, um, and I'd get a really nice uh, highlighting effect of its fur but um, the way the thing is set up I can't rely on that uh, so it's slightly off frame to the left I'm hoping fingers crossed that it will still have a similar effect um, so yeah so I set that up let it sit for another few days and I've just come back down now to um, check on it and check the battery status and I looked at the trail cam that I have surveying the scene and it picked up some amazing uh, behavior. Uh, the wildcat uh, using the post on the platform as a scratch post, so it climbed up the post, scratched, had a good scratch, then jumped down, came across the branch, scratched again on the branch, uh, leaving its scent I'm guessing as well. Um, and then on the way back it actually jumped onto the camera, uh, and then from the camera onto the branch and then crossed over. Uh, the little beach martin, same thing. 
uh, during the nighttime hours. So I've increased the threshold so that it'll get half light of dawn and dusk as well. Um, and hopefully that'll do the trick and I'll get some uh, decent images of them. So that's the situation. I shall be back in a few days time uh, to check up on it and hopefully then we shall have some uh, fantastic images uh, with any luck. So yeah, um, sorry for this, uh, for the wordiness of this uh, segment, um, but I wanted to explain uh, the whole scenario and what's been happening uh, in case that is of any use to, to anyone. Um, so yeah, I shall be back in a few days and I shall catch up with you then. See you then. So hello again, and uh, as you will notice, I am in the room, uh, and the reason for that is that a couple of days ago it started pouring with rain, and it's still pouring at the moment, and forecast to keep raining for the next few days, so I decided I'd go and recover my camera from the canal, and see what if anything was on it, and happily enough, I got 13 shots, um, and of which uh, 6 were, were okay. Um, and that's not for uh, a lack of, uh, for any technical problem with the camera or the trigger, uh, purely because there were very few animals coming across. Um, the animals that did come across though I'm really happy with it. Uh, and surprisingly enough I got a shot of the golden jackal that I've been after since the beginning. Um, because he tried coming across on the branch, amazingly enough. Um, so that's a, that's a photo that I'm really happy with. Also, I'm really happy with a shot of the little beech martin that came across. Um, in terms of the quality of the image, um, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy. Um, I think there's still room for improvement in terms of getting a, a more atmospheric shot if possible. Um, and I think uh, looking at these images I need to basically improve the lighting even more. Um, the the head-on light was uh, slightly too strong again, uh, and the backlight uh, that I wanted uh, was not uh, firing strongly enough. So those need to improve. O also uh, needing improvement, I think, is the angle of the camera. I thought that I had set it at the same level with the branch, uh, but looking at these images, especially the one of the beach martin, uh, it looks like it's still a bit too high, so I need to drop the level of the camera and bring it more to the animal's eye level. It's not so evident in the shot of the um, the um, jackal, uh, obviously because it's much bigger and taller than the little the little Martin is. Um, so those are some uh, lessons for the next time that I set the camera up. Um, on a different note, the um, uh, you remember I mentioned in the previous segment that I had set the uh, trigger to fire only during the, uh, the hours of darkness um, and the half-light dawn and dusk hours. Um, that meant I missed anything that came across during the day, um, which means that uh, thankfully I didn't get a whole bunch of uh, useless shots of dogs, which did come across again. Um, but it also meant I, mess, I missed um, uh, a little weasel that came running across uh, both in both directions. Um, which I've never seen out here before and I'm really happy that um, to know that they exist out here as well um, Yeah, so uh, and then on a different note again um, a few weeks ago uh, when I did get back from my filming trip uh, I went for a walk one day and I discovered in on the edge of this little copse of uh, trees um, what I believe to be a badger set um, there's some pretty decent sized holes so I set up a trail cam there uh, to um, uh, watch over the scene and happily enough there was uh, badger movement and also wild boar and various other small animals uh, a mouse and a rat even um, and during the daytime some birds as well uh, so really happy that uh, I've discovered that and um, food for thought moving forward how I'm going to proceed to get better quality images of that whole scene whether it'll be with the camera trap or um, as spring moves into summer later this year um, and the days get longer maybe actually setting up a hide and getting some shots myself of, of um, the badgers and anything else that might, that might come out 
So yeah, um, really happy this time uh, with the photos. Um, and again, looking to improve uh, on the next time that I set up uh, the trap out in the, in the field. So I hope you found the, um, this uh, video interesting and maybe informative uh, if you're uh, into camera trapping yourselves. And um, yeah, I look forward to bringing you another one in the very near future. So um, only remains for me to say thank you for watching. Um, please do click on the like button if you've enjoyed what you've seen and uh, consider subscribing um, if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing. So yeah, thanks again and I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.